Street racers took over part of North Avenue and Mount Royal over the weekend. Racing continues to be a problem in Baltimore City despite tougher penalties. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren is live downtown with the call for action tonight. Mike. And Denise, we talked to Councilmember Yitzi Schleifer, who uh, spearheaded the tougher penalties that are now in place in Baltimore City. He acknowledges there are challenges with enforcement. In the incident that happened over the weekend, police tell us they were dispatched, but by the time officers got there, everyone was gone. A large crowd gathered at North Avenue and Mount Royal to watch street racers doing donuts in the middle of the major intersection just before two Sunday morning. Where are the police officers that are supposed to be governing this and monitoring and things like this? This is just purely reckless behavior. We showed the video to Michael Bledsoe, who says it's dangerous. I don't understand why the people were standing and watch stuff like this, because it's just really reckless behavior. WJZ also reviewed police dispatch, revealing the extent of the problem that morning. I know district call units are to check here. Car clubs, uh, they just cleared out one in the northwest. They were last seen heading 83 towards the county and Town Road. Uh, the group was around 300 strong. The illegal races have been a problem in the city before, including last year in Hamden and downtown near police headquarters. Absolutely, there's more the city can do about it. They can start enforcing the laws. It's by far the strictest uh, that we've seen. City Council Member Yitzi Schleifer was so fed up, he sponsored an ordinance, later signed into law that makes the penalties for street racing in Baltimore City some of the stiffest in the state, with a maximum year behind bars and up to a $1,000 fine. It's very difficult when you have, you know, one or two officers out on the street to handle a crowd of hundreds of cars. And so there's a specific strategy that DP, BPD is uh, deploying when it comes to dealing with these car clubs, but it involves more than just two officers. There's so little opportunity for people to come together. Natasha Jarvis Pillai, who lives near North Avenue in Mount Royal, says a police crackdown is not the answer. If we want to change people's behavior, we need to understand them first. Um, and I don't think um, the police are a tool for understanding people. Now, Councilmember Schleifer says successful enforcement is possible and points to an incident earlier this year in his district where several racers' cars were towed away. Reporting live downtown, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you.